got businesses I'm seeing. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And featured this week is C.J. Mosley. He was terrific defensively last week with 11 tackles. It's the Jets and the Bills on EA Sports. Take the Lincoln time for me. Chris across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they come in after tasting defeat for the first time in about a month as their loss snapped a four-game winning streak. Two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Well, we get our first look at this New York Jets offense. Really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU, Zach Wilson. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? They go play action with Wilson. Steps away. Open man is Uzama. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Wilson. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'll work for the first time with Brees Hall. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Well, that's one stuff. We'll see if this defense has another in their back pocket. And I just wonder on the other side of the ball, do you just challenge the big guys up front? This is a short yardage situation. We ought to be able to pick this up. Or do you say to yourself, they're awfully tough. I got to throw it on this down. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease. And he fires one that's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL, and they prove their mettle here, forcing the turnover on the opening possession. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play. The psychology is, okay, they're number one. They have to prove it to us, and they tried to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too.
first down. Here's the run with Cook. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Chop that up as a 40-yard loss, and now it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They run here with Singletary. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but for touchdown Bills. Devin Singletary hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bills take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. On first down, right back to Hall. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action. It's Wilson. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. A second was that the pullback that was the pullback who says it to slot receivers but only guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch really nice job there showing good hands and an ability to get up under pressure and he'll go down they'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game six nothing our score after one Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it facing a second and long situation. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for him. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Wilson now to throw on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. On 
first and 10, it's Hall. Oh, good move. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. On the counter, it's Hall. No gain on the play there, second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, was it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Now Wilson, this will be caught at about the six. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Bills' goal line stand is going to get him the football back. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Oh, he shifts past him. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Again, it's Cook. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 10 yards, good enough for Buffalo first down. The Bills sitting at 5-2 and two on the year. And they've been playing well, really well. I mean, winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. And it always hurts when you lose a tight game, as they did a week ago. I think each player starts thinking to himself, if I could have played better one play here, one play there, maybe it could have changed this team's fortunes. But it absolutely illustrates how important it is to play a complete game if we want to win in the NFL. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Here's Allen on first and 10. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. From the 47, it's second and five. Here's Allen to throw him. He'll get this to Jay Kumaro. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a Jet was shaken up on that one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And again, it's Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. To the air, Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now Allen. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Bills go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields it right around the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second and eight coming up. Now Wilson. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We start up at Soldier Field, Miami, making the trip north to take on Chicago. And it's the Dolphins who have the lead in that one. Damian Harris, two touchdown runs on the afternoon. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to the Motor City to check on the Lions at home in Detroit. And they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to check on the Patriots. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Will Fuller, a touchdown reception. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats for Buffalo in that first half. And there were a few factors as to why they built this good size advantage, but the rushing numbers were not all that amazing. We'll see if they can pick it up in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they had a little bit more success on the ground than their opponents did, and that should set them up well for the second half to come. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This one fielded at the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bills to take over. They were losers to the Packers a week ago, but they've got the lead right now here as they come up on a first and 10. play fake and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete now that'll bring up second down on second down Cook and he has met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there officially nothing on that one no gain so they're left with still 10 to go on third down this set of downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. 
Throwing is Allen on third. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Jets will take over. Week 9 here in the National Football League. we will have nine weeks to go after this. We got a couple of good matchups in prime time to wrap up the first half of the season. Tonight, Tennessee and KC in the AFC. And then tomorrow night, an interconference matchup. Baltimore and New Orleans. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Uh, give to Hall running right. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wilson. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. There's Wilson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On third down, Wilson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Five yards, now it's third and five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. A throw caught by Kumaro. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. And meanwhile, Allen Stroll here take it in by Knox. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, it's a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They'll try the middle with Cole. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to go. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now Allen. Going to throw right side here, complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. On second and goal, Allen. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Jake Kubero, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bills look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The New York set to take the field. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. To throw is Wilson. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, Ethan. Yeah, no question, he got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time, because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. And they're going to get this up to midfield. A 
Applause here for an injured player, and this would be an important one. Von Miller in some discomfort on the field right now. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Here we go! From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He gets it underneath to Hall, and he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. On the draw, it's Hall. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. 72 yards on the ground for him so far. The Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Here we go. Set. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And he'll be brought down at the 27. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. play fake. Here's Wilson. And he completes it to Barrios. And he's in. Touchdown Jets. Braxton Barrios. 27 yards. And the Jets are finally on the board in the fourth quarter. Zerline good with a PAT. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Two scores down. Three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Bills are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Cook up the gut. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all out effort to stop the run is coming. Singletary going to get the handoff. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Allen going to give the Singletary on the option. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Alert. 
So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Now all through this one, they've had nothing but success throwing the football and in the passing game. Here we are in the fourth quarter, a time you'd think they'd be running the football. They're still tossing it around and having great success. And it appears a whole lot of fun as well. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. I almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for the Bills, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Jets, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. And, and they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11.